fine with being gray, but when I was going gray, I didn't love going gray. And gray is an, a funny thing because people feel like it's totally fine to point it out. You know, like you'll meet somebody you haven't seen in 10 years, and they'll be like, oh, you're going gray. And I'm like, well, you're always fat, but I never mentioned it. I never mentioned it. I thought it every time I saw you, and every time I saw you, it got fatter. But I figured you didn't want to hear it. Because you look at yourself every day. Well, guess what? I look at myself every day, and I knew that I was going gray. But the thing is that, you know, people are very positive about going gray. You know, uh, you know, women are always like, I oh, know, going gray, sexy, silver fox, look at George Clooney. It's always George Clooney, yeah? It's never Mike Pence. As if there's not other, as if there's not other examples other than George Clooney. And listen, uh, for, the, for the women in the audience, I know that you're probably uh, thinking that it's fine for a guy because there is a terrible double standard, which is when a man goes gray, he becomes a silver fox, becomes distinguished. When there's, a, there's a, almost a judgment of a woman goes gray, she let herself go, you know, stuff, and you don't see a lot of, uh, you know, like gray-haired uh, female icons on TV. Uh, but on the flip side, I would like to say that there is the alternative stigma, which is women can dye their hair. They are not judged for dyeing their hair, whereas when a man dyes his hair, everyone's like, what's the matter with you? What are you doing? You know? That's why female hair color products have positive names like L'Oreal Preference, Clairol, Nice and Easy, whereas men's hair color products, shh, <laughs> just for men. <laughs> like it's a f***ing dirty secret. Like it's like something that's not wrong, but don't tell anybody, like a gay sauna. You're not doing anything wrong, lads, but go around the back. The door's in the back. <laughs> Uh, and I have to tell any, any, any guys in the crowd, because of this stigma, the first time you go to like a pharmacy or CVS to buy just for men, it's kind of like the feeling the first time you went to buy condoms as a teenager. Well, that's the way I felt the first time I went to buy just for men. And, and uh, you know, just so you know, for guys that go to buy just for men, it's not in the hair color section. The hair color aisle is exclusively just for women. And it's a whole row. There are so many female hair color products. Do you know that there are 15 shades of red in female hair color products? Why do you need 15 shades of a color most people pray their children will not be born with? Why do you need so much red? They're in the men's grooming section under the shaving cream mostly. It's only like five boxes. There's like a whole aisle of women hair color products and five boxes of Just For Men. And I'm not going to lie, just like the first time I went to buy condoms, I didn't succeed. I have to be honest, there was a hot girl behind the counter and uh, it wasn't a fucking CVS, an Irish pharmacy, so it wasn't like I could go up and self blip. You know, I had to go up to this very attractive woman and I didn't want her to fucking know I was dyeing my hair, so I didn't do it. I bought toothpaste and left. And uh, I know you think I'm exaggerating about the stigma that is associated with men dyeing their hair. Well, let me give an example of how much of a stigma there is, okay? When they killed Osama bin Laden. Now, I know you weren't expecting bin Laden to come into this story. <laughs> I know bin Laden has come out of nowhere in my hair color story. <laughs> but Google it after the show, okay? When they killed Osama bin Laden, there was a full article in the New York Times, okay? And the headline was, they found just for men in Osama bin Laden's hideout. They found Just For Men, and they wrote a whole fucking article about the fact that Osama bin Laden dyed his hair. So, oh, you think Osama bin Laden's an asshole but killed 3,000 people? Check this out. He dyed his hair, and he's a man. What a fucking horrible person, this guy. What a loser. As you get older, there'll be these little milestones, these little moments where you realize... You're older, right? And I remember one for me, I was in my mid-30s in Ireland again at the time, and I was walking down the street in Dublin, and these teenagers came up to me, and they were like, hey, mister, can you go into the off-license and get us some cans, right? The off-license is the liquor store where you get booze, right? Can you go into the off-license and get us some cans, right? Now, listen, I was that kid, you know? I was that kid that needed an older man to get me cans, you know, when I was underage, right? And whenever the older guy did, I was like, wow, this guy's a hero. Now I realize probably pedophile, but at the time, <laughs> at the time, I thought they were like a hero. Huh? But I also need to point out that I, in July, I'll be 28 years sober. I haven't drank since I'm 19 years old. I was a troubled teenager. I drank too much as a teenager, right? So here I am. I have this dilemma, right? Because I remember the guys that were heroes that bought me the booze, but now I'm somebody that is aware that the younger you start drinking, the more chance you have for it to develop into a problem. Right? So I don't want to beat somebody who enables these kids to end up having problems in the future. But they 
caught me on a good day. <laughs> so I said, listen, kids, you know, it's not cool to be drinking this young, you know, and I had a problem when I was your age, and I don't want to be helping you guys to have a problem. However, <laughs> you caught me on a good day, so I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the booze key. In fact, I'm going to go one further. I'm going to pay for it myself. But first, you have to do me one favor. You have to go into the pharmacy <laughs> and get me... So number five, medium brown, just for men. It's not in the hair color section, it's under the shaving foam. Which, which is a callback, it's a cheap comedy trick, you fell for it, they always fall for it. It works every time. You forgot what we were talking about. <laughs>